And what we're about to embark upon is not merely a new chapter of the future of Tesla, but a whole new book. <laughs> Optimus will be more precise. Optimus will ultimately be better than the best human surgeon with a level of precision. Actually, Optimus will actually eliminate poverty. Optimus will actually give people incredible medical care. Punk nightclub here with real robots just standing there and uh, milling around and dancing. I think it's going to be the biggest product of all time by far. Yeah. Standing on stage at Tesla's shareholder meeting, Elon Musk just said something that should make everyone stop and pay attention. He didn't hedge. He didn't use corporate speak or carefully crafted PR language. He looked directly at the audience and declared that the company is about to launch three massive products next year, each one representing the fastest production ramp of any large complex manufactured product ever attempted. And then he said something even more startling. One of these products will be bigger than smartphones, bigger than anything humanity has ever created, not might be will be. That's not hyperbole for shareholder excitement. That's a CEO putting his reputation on the line with specific timelines, specific production numbers, and specific claims about eliminating poverty and revolutionizing human existence. So what exactly did Musk reveal at this meeting? What are these three products launching next year? And why does he believe one of them represents what he calls an infinite money glitch that could increase the global economy by a factor of 10 or maybe even 100? Let's break down everything he just announced because the implications are absolutely staggering. Before diving into the products themselves, the shareholder meeting opened with a crucial vote that sets the stage for everything that follows. Shareholders voted to approve the 2025 CEO Performance Award to Elon Musk, with over 75% voting in favor. Musk opened by giving a heartfelt thanks to everyone who supported the shareholder votes, expressing genuine appreciation for the confidence placed in his leadership and vision. But then the presentation shifted to what everyone was really waiting for, the robots. And not just any robots, but what Musk claims will become the single biggest product of all time by an enormous margin. During the presentation, autonomous robots were dancing on stage with no wires, no external controls, fully independent humanoid machines moving with remarkable fluidity. Musk wanted to make it crystal clear these weren't puppets or remotely controlled demonstrations. These were actual robots operating autonomously. What we're, what we're going to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm those bots are just dancing. They have no wires. Those are actual robots. And what we're about to embark upon is not merely a new chapter of the future of Tesla, but a whole new book. Here's where things get genuinely mind-bending. Musk stated that he believes humanoid robots will be bigger than cell phones, bigger than any product ever created in human history. To put that claim in perspective, think about how ubiquitous smartphones have become. There are billions of them worldwide. They've fundamentally transformed human communication, commerce, entertainment, and social interaction. And Musk is saying humanoid robots will exceed that impact by a substantial margin. His reasoning is elegantly simple yet profound. Every human on Earth is going to want their own personal R2D2 or C3PO. Not some people, not early adopters or wealthy enthusiasts, every single person. That's the market size he's targeting. And it explains the production scale he's planning. Tesla is launching what Musk describes as the fastest production ramp of any large complex manufactured product ever. They're starting with a 1 million unit production line in Fremont, California. That's line one, just the first facility. Then they're building a 10 million unit per year production line at Gigafactory, Texas. Those aren't aspirational goals for some distant future. These are production targets for facilities being built right now with manufacturing starting next year. To understand why Musk believes this product, called Optimus, will be so transformative, you need to understand how he's thinking about its impact on fundamental human problems. People often talk abstractly about eliminating poverty and providing everyone with amazing medical care. But Musk argues there's actually only one realistic path to achieving those goals, and that's through humanoid robots. With humanoid robots, you can actually provide everyone with amazing medical care regardless of geographic location or economic status. Optimus will ultimately become better than the best human surgeon, with a level of precision that simply isn't possible for human hands. Think about that for a moment. Not just as good as a skilled surgeon, 
better than the absolute best human surgeon who has ever lived, operating with superhuman precision. That's a genuinely wild concept. But Musk takes it even further. He states plainly that Optimus will actually eliminate poverty, not reduce it, not make incremental progress, eliminate it entirely. That's an extraordinary claim, but the logic is straightforward. If labor costs approach zero because humanoid robots can perform virtually any physical task, then the cost of goods and services plummets. Scarcity transforms into abundance. You know, people often talk about like eliminating poverty, giving everyone amazing medical care. Opt Optimus will be more precise. O Optimus will ultimately be better than the best human surgeon with a level of precision. Actually, Optimus will actually eliminate poverty. Optimus will actually give people incredible medical care. Musk even suggested a more humane approach to criminal justice enabled by this technology. Rather than traditional incarceration, someone who has committed a crime could be assigned a personal Optimus robot that follows them around and physically prevents them from committing future crimes. It's a fascinating and somewhat dystopian vision of using AI and robotics for crime prevention, but it illustrates how fundamentally Musk believes this technology will reshape society. The economic implications are what he finds most exciting. With AI and robotics deployed at massive scale, Musk believes you can actually increase the global economy by a factor of 10, or maybe even 100. There's not an obvious upper limit to the growth potential. This is why he describes Optimus as an infinite money glitch, a product that generates compounding economic returns without clear constraints. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna say a bunch of things that probably I shouldn't say, you know, but... <laughs> punk nightclub here with real robots just standing there and uh, milling around and dancing. I think it's gonna be the biggest product of all time, by far. Yeah, R, you know, R2D2, it's kind of beep at you and it's kind of hard to figure out what he's going to, talking about. Um, he's going to want one. Uh, I think with, in terms of uh, industry, providing products and services. But Optimus isn't the only major product launching next year. The second big product is the CyberCab, and this one comes with some genuinely controversial statements that got immediate attention. Musk revealed that they're getting very close to allowing people to text and drive, which he describes as the killer app, because that's what people genuinely want to do and already do despite the danger. Currently, the Tesla self-driving system is strict about requiring drivers to keep their eyes on the road, but Musk expressed confidence that within the next month or two, after thoroughly reviewing the safety statistics, they will allow drivers to text while the car handles driving duties. That represents an enormous leap in confidence about the system's capabilities and safety. The CyberCab itself is specifically built from the ground up for unsupervised full self-driving as a robo-taxi. It doesn't have pedals. It doesn't have a steering wheel. There are no side view mirrors. The entire design is optimized for autonomous operation with the lowest possible cost per mile. And production of the CyberCab is happening at Gigafactory Texas with manufacturing starting in April of next year. That's just a few months away. The third massive product launching next year is the Tesla Semi, the company's electric heavy-duty truck. While Musk didn't elaborate extensively on the Semi during this presentation, grouping it alongside Optimus and CyberCab signals, he views it as equally significant to the company's production roadmap and economic impact. But there's more. Beyond these three headline products, Musk revealed significant infrastructure investments that will enable the scaling Tesla needs to hit these ambitious production targets. In South Texas, specifically in Corpus Christi, Tesla has built the biggest lithium refinery outside of China. It's starting production at 50 gigawatt hours of lithium processing capacity and will expand from there. Controlling the raw material supply chain is critical when you're planning to manufacture millions of robots, vehicles, and battery packs annually. Musk also made some genuinely bold claims about Tesla's chip development efforts. He stated that the AI5 chip Tesla is developing will deliver roughly comparable performance to Nvidia's Blackwell, widely considered one of the most powerful AI chips available, while using about a third of the power and costing less than 10% of Nvidia's price. If those specifications hold true in production, that's an absolutely game-changing advantage for Tesla's AI and robotics ambitions. Then came perhaps the most science fiction moment of the entire presentation. Someone asked whether Musk sees a path for Optimus to have human consciousness downloaded into it. Specifically, could you use Neuralink to create a snapshot of somebody's mind and upload that approximate snapshot to an Optimus robot body? Musk's response was measured but optimistic. He said it's not immediate, but at some point down the road, 
that technology becomes possible. He believes it's probably less than 20 years away. Think about the implications of that statement for a moment. We're not talking about distant theoretical possibilities centuries in the future. Musk is saying that within 20 years, potentially within the lifetimes of most people watching this, technology could exist to create an approximate copy of human consciousness and upload it to a robotic body. That crosses from science fiction into genuine technological roadmap. When Tesla started, the goal was to accelerate the advent of sustainable energy. Musk believes they've accomplished that mission. Tesla led the way with electric vehicles, battery packs, solar technology, and energy storage. Many other companies followed their lead. Electric cars, which used to be virtually non-existent, are now prevalent across global markets. The Tesla Model Y became the number one selling car of any kind on Earth, not just among electric vehicles, but across all vehicle categories. That track record of taking seemingly impossible goals and actually achieving them is why people take Musk's pronouncements about the next decade seriously, even when they sound absurdly ambitious. Tesla transformed the automotive industry against overwhelming skepticism. Now Musk is applying that same approach to humanoid robotics, autonomous transportation, and potentially even consciousness transfer. So we've got three massive products starting production next year. Optimus, the humanoid robot that Musk claims will be bigger than smartphones and eliminate poverty. The Cybercab, a purpose-built autonomous robo-taxi with no steering wheel or pedals launching in April. And the Tesla Semi, the company's electric heavy-duty truck. Each one represents enormous technical challenges and massive production ramps happening simultaneously. The timeline is aggressive to the point of seeming unrealistic. But that's been true of virtually every major Tesla goal, and they've consistently delivered even when years behind original projections. The question isn't whether these products will exist. The question is whether they'll achieve the transformative impact Musk envisions, and whether the production timelines hold or slip. What's clear is that next year will be absolutely pivotal for Tesla, and potentially for the broader trajectory of AI, robotics, and transportation technology. If even half of what Musk outlined comes to fruition on anything close to the timelines he described, we're looking at genuine technological revolution unfolding in real time. That's it for today, folks. See you in the next video.